Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, welcome. First YouTube ever, all right? This is my first video, so make sure y'all like, comment, and, and subscribe. You feel me? Follow uh, all my socials, uh, links in the bio, stuff like that, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, all that other stuff. Uh, today, I'm gonna give you guys, you know, a tour um, of some properties in Eastvale, uh, newer builds. It's a lot of newer builds in Eastvale, and then stick to the end, and I'm gonna give you guys three reasons why I like um, living in Eastvale, you know, and stuff like that. So, all right, y'all, as promised, welcome back. So we are here at this four bedroom, three bath, about 2,300 square feet, new build in Ontario, all right? So stick around, we're gonna take a tour, check out the kitchen, this is one of my favorite spots. Alright y'all, we are done for the day. The tour is over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give you guys four things you guys need to pay attention to when buying a newly built property. First thing first, everybody knows about this HOA fees, home association fees. Uh, pay attention to that. That'll be included in your monthly payment. Alright, so that can range from a hundred bucks or lower to 300 or higher. It just depends on where you're at. Okay. Second, solar panels, okay? Solar panels, a lot of these newly built homes are coming with solar panels. You can either buy them outright or you can lease them. Uh, that depends. So that will be included in your monthly payment as well. Third, the third thing is the special assessment tax, Mellow Roos. Um, I'll give you guys an actual video on that because that takes a while to explain that. And the fourth and final thing, all right? Fourth and final thing that a lot of people don't talk about is the backyards of these new homes, some of them do not have anything in them. When I say don't have anything in them, it's basically dirt. So the HOA will actually give you six months, usually typically six months, to bring a landscaper in and develop a plan and you have to actually show that plan to the HOA. If you don't, you get fined. You know HOAs are good for finding people. So those are my four things. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour and we'll definitely be giving you guys another one soon. You guys have a good one.